Hi, thanks for joining today's lesson. In this exercise, we would model this wooden looking flower piece. Let's go ahead and start with today's exercise. Let's go ahead and get our worksheet new. Under Part Create 2D and 3D Object, under the metric template, select the standard MMIPT because we want to work in millimeters and create. Now let's go ahead and pick the 2D sketch command and create this sketch on the XY plane. To start with, I'll draw a circle here at the origin. The diameter of this circle, I'll enter that using the dynamic input box is 15 and we would press enter. Let's go ahead and finish this sketch and extrude. We'll select this profile. It is even automatically selected. The distance of extrusion, I'll change that to 1.5 and I would OK. Now let's select this face and we would create a sketch. Let me zoom in. We'll pick the circle command the second time and draw a circle here at the top. The diameter of this circle is 1. We would enter that. We would dimension, not even a dimension. Press escape to get off the dimension command. We would apply a tangential relationship between the circle and this very one. And then also a vertical relationship for the center of that circle and the origin. Now let's select the circle and make it constructional. We can finish this sketch and we want to offset a plane. So let's drop this down, choose offset plane option. Open up the origins if it's not open and let's select the X, Y to offset a plane from that. The distance or the offset distance of this plane is supposed to be 15. We will check that. Now we'll select the plane we just introduced and create a sketch on that. Let's first of all project the constructional circle here onto that plane. We are going to pick the circle command and draw a circle here. The diameter of this circle is 1. We would enter that and then we would dimension between this circle and that circle as 1. And then apply a vertical relationship between the center of this circle and the origin. Now right click and then OK. Let's select this circle and make it constructional. We can finish the sketch. All right. Next, we want to offset another plane. So let's drop down the plane options. Choose offset from plane. Let's offset from this very one also to a distance of 15. And we will check that. Now let's select this plane and we would create a sketch on it. Let's also project this very circle onto that plane. And then we will pick the circle command. Let's draw a circle down here. The diameter of this circle is 1. We would enter that. And then dimension between this very circle and this one as 3. And then also apply a vertical relationship between the center of this circle and the origin. Now we can go ahead and finish this sketch also. We will select this plane again. We want to offset another plane from it to a distance of 15. We will check that. We will select this plane and create a sketch. We will pick the circle command and we will draw a circle this time on this left corner. We will draw a circle of diameter 1 and enter that. We will dimension. The dimension command, we want to dimension between this very circle and then this one, we would go up. The distance between that is also 1. We will check that. Let me apply a horizontal relationship between the center of the circle and this very one. We will select this circle and make it constructional. Now we can finish the sketch. Next, what we want to pick is the loft command under the create group. We are to select those circles we want to loft. So we pick the last one we drew. We pick the third one we drew. We pick the second one and then the first one. The preview is exactly what we want and so be OK. So we go again, we'll create the circles for the second loft. And so we we'll select this face and we would create a sketch on that. Let's pick the circle command. We will draw a circle here. The diameter is 1 as always, so we would enter that. We would apply a horizontal relationship between 
the center of this circle and the origin. And I would also apply a tangential relationship between the circle and this bigger one. You can right click and then OK. Let's select the circle and would we'll make it constructional. Now let's finish this. We'll would also pick the second plane, which is this one. The first plane, I mean the first work plane, and we'll create a sketch on it. Let's first of all project this constructional circle onto that plane. Now we would right click and then OK. Let's pick the circle command. The second circle is going to be up here. Diameter 1 and enter that. We would apply a vertical relationship between the origin and the center of the circle. And we would dimension the distance between this circle and this very one is 1. Let's enter that. Now let's select the circle and make it constructional. We would finish. Let's pick the second work plane also. We'll create a sketch on it. Now we'll pick the circle command and draw a circle here. Diameter also one. We would enter that. Let's apply a horizontal relationship between the center of that circle and the origin. We would dimension between this point and that point is four let's enter that now we can finish the sketch we will select the third work plane and create a sketch on that as well we'll pick the circle command let's draw a circle here of diameter one and enter that we would apply the vertical relationship between the origin and the center of that circle and a tangential relationship between this circle and this larger one. You can right click and then OK. Now we'll pick this circle and we want to make it constructional. Let's finish the sketch. Now we would pick our loft command and select the circles we want to loft. So this very one to this, to that, and then finally to this very one. The preview looks good and so we OK. Our uh, two lofts have been created. We are going to circular pattern these two. Before we do that, let's turn off the visibility of all these work planes. So just touch on it, right click, and then turn off visibility. You can also do that from the work tree. So we locate this, right click, and then we turn off visibility. Same with this very one. You click on it, right click, and turn off visibility. Now let's go ahead and create the circular pattern. So the circular pattern command, the features we want to create the circular pattern of is this and this very one, the rotational axis, we can go around the first extrusion we did. We see the preview of that, but the placements, we want to change the occurrences to 10 instead of six, and it should be equally spaced going around a 360 degree angle preview is exactly what we want and so let's OK. Depending on the quality of your machine, this may take a little while, so be patient with it. And there we go. Let's go ahead and inspect it. Okay, neatly done. Next, let's pick the 2D sketch command and select one of these faces. Okay, so we pick the circle command and using this very point here, let's draw our first circle of diameter 12. Let's enter that. Let's draw another one of diameter. Let's do 16 and see how that looks. Okay, I think that looks fine. But then for this very first one we did, so go off the dimension command Let's select the 12 mm dimension. Let's do 13 for that and check. No, I should have reduced it in set. So we'll do 11. Let's check that. Okay, I think this is fine. Let's even do 10 and see. Okay, this looks okay. Now we'll finish this. Let's extrude. We are going to select this very profile. Let's extrude that to a distance of 1.5 is okay. And so we'll check that. Now we would apply a fillet. Let's do 0 0.75. We would apply it to this edge. 
and this very one here, and we would OK. All right, this looks good. Let's inspect. Awesome. Let me get back the isometric view and apply some appearance. And so let's drop down this default and choose the color that says small uneven rectangular stones this very one check that i like this color so much now we can go to view let's include some reflections and shadows as well you can change the lightning effect to photo booth and there we go let's inspect one last time all right Okay, and so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you did, please consider subscribing to this channel. Also do well to like this video. It helps the algorithm notice it and push it to a lot more people. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can also leave them down in the comment section below and I would address them as soon as I can. Don't forget to save this. I'll see you soon with the next tutorial. Bye.